Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 22nd series of uh, Principles of uh, Drug Discovery. In this video, we are going to see about uh, protein folds. So, what are protein folds? It refers to specific recurring spatial arrangements of secondary structural elements, that is, alpha helices, beta strands, and other motifs that form recognizable patterns in 3D structure of proteins. The recurring patterns are often associated with specific functions and structural features. Identifying and classifying the protein folds is crucial for understanding the protein structure and function and for studying evolutionary relationships between the proteins. The different types of protein folds. There are about five uh, types of protein folds and they are Rossmann fold, Tim Barrel fold, Greek key fold, helix turn helix fold, EF hand fold. So there are five folds Rosman, Tim Barrel, Greek key, helix turn helix, and EF hand fold. Let us see what is Rosman fold. The Rosman fold is a common protein fold found in many enzymes uh, which are involved in uh, binding nucleotides or related molecules. So it appears uh, like this. It consists of alternating uh, beta strands and alpha helices forming a characteristic twisted beta sheet. Proteins with uh, Rossmann folds are involved in diverse biological processes such as uh, catalysis of uh, different reactions, energy transfer during which occurs during the reactions and during signal transduction. Next is uh, Tim Barrel fold. Tri uh, triose uh, phosphate isomerase barrel fold is a cylindrical arrangement of eight parallel beta strands connected by alpha helices. So it will be appearing like this. So it will have eight parallel beta strands connected by alpha helices. Proteins with this fold uh, often function as enzymes and have diverse range of catalytic activities. Next is uh, Greek key fold. The Greek key is a motif where Four beta strands arrange themselves in a square pattern forming looped structure. So it will appear like this. The Greek key folds are common in immunoglobulins and some other proteins which are involved in binding and recognition process related to immunity reactions. Helix turn helix fold. The HTHR helix turn helix fold is a common DNA binding motif found in the transcription factors like uh, HER2, EGFR, like that and other proteins which are involved in the gene regulation. It will appear like this. It consists of two alpha helixes, helices connected by a short turn where one helix interacts with the major groove of the DNA. EF hand fold. The EF hand is a calcium binding motif found in many calcium binding proteins. So it will appear like this. Uh, in the middle there will be calcium binding. It consists of two alpha helices connected by a loop region and it forms like a cup structure, cup like structure that binds the calcium ions like calmodulin like that. Databases to characterize the protein folds. Several databases and uh, classification systems exist for categorizing the protein folds based on their structural similarities. One of the most widely used database is uh, structural classification of proteins that is scope and its uh, successor the CAT that is class, architecture, topology and homology database. These databases uh, group the protein into families based on their uh, shared folds and provide valuable information for studying the protein evolution and its function. So let us see the scope uh, first, structural classification of proteins. So it is a very widely used hierarchical uh, classification system that organizes uh, proteins into hierarchical uh, framework based uh, on the structural and evolutionary relationship. So it will appear uh, like this. Uh, the attribution is given. So uh, you can browse the proteins. Uh, you can browse all the alpha proteins, all the beta proteins, alpha and beta proteins, that is A by B, alpha and beta proteins, A plus B, and small proteins. 
and you can also browse uh, the globular proteins membrane proteins fibrous proteins and non globular or intrinsically unstructured proteins from this site next is a cat or uh, uh, gene 3d it contains 151 million protein domains which are classified into different super families so it will have uh, you can find out the 3d structures you can uh, find the evolution of uh, the different proteins and you can uh, find out the function of uh, different proteins and uh, you can know the conserved sites when you study the protein you can get the which are the conserved sites among the different species so what is the use of studying the protein folds so studying the protein folds is of great importance in various fields of biology biochemistry and bioinformatics understanding the protein folds provides valuable insights into the structure function evolution and regulation of proteins so some of the key uses and applications of studying protein folds are protein function prediction knowing the proteins fold can provide clue about the potential function certain folds are associated with the specific functional properties such as uh, enzymatic activity dna binding ligand binding and or structural support by identifying the fold of uh, a protein researchers can predict its uh, possible biological roles and interactions drug discovery and design many drugs uh, work by targeting uh, specific protein folds associated with the disease causing molecules by studying the folds of the proteins involved in the diseases researchers can design the drugs that specifically interact with these targets leading to more effective and targeted therapies comparative genomics uh, protein folds are uh, more evolutionary conserved than the amino acid sequences by comparing the protein folds uh, across uh, different organisms researchers can infer uh, evolutionary relationships and trace the evolutionary history of proteins protein structure prediction protein folding is a complex process and uh, predicting the 3d structure of a protein from its amino acid sequence remains a challenging problem so studying the protein folds and the properties help improve the computational methods for protein structure prediction protein evolution so you can understand the evolution of uh, the different proteins it helps in deciphering how new functions and biological roles emerge during evolution protein engineering uh, studying protein folds can aid in uh, protein engineering efforts to design proteins with specific functions or properties such as improved stability increased catalytic activity or altered substrate specificity it is useful in structural genomics studying the structural genomics uh, provides a wealth of information for understanding protein diversity and function on the genome wide scale understanding protein folding and misfolding protein folding is a fundamental biological process and understanding the principles of folding can shed light into how the proteins achieve their native 3d structures furthermore studying misfolded proteins and protein aggregation is crucial in understanding various neurodegenerative and protein misfolding diseases so it's a very short information of protein folds i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel and uh, encourage us kindly use this and score well in your forthcoming exams thank you